Right folks, clouding over now, it's brilliant blue sky out there. Uh, first lot of blue sky we've had for ages, to tell you the truth. The weather's been grey, dull, windy. Um, very, very grey. It seems to be a constant thing. Anyway, I've decided to get out on this lovely day because the weather is looking very unsettled. <sighs> so I... <clears throat> um, Yeah, it was a bit breathless at the start, not too bad. Bus journey was okay. It was warm, warmish on the bus because the sun was beaming down. <sighs> Even with the windows open because we're still having to keep precautions. Uh, when in confined spaces with others. We have to still wear our masks. This is 2022, by the way. I think this is the first video I've done this year. The last video is very close to New Year's Eve and that was a wood walk. So this is the very first video of 2022 and I've still got the old camera. I can smell silage. It's winter now. All the trees are deep in sleep. But it feels like spring. Although we've had some cold days, the weather is so changed. Um, it is down here in the southwest anyway. I know they're still getting snow and all that up north. But down here, this is really like spring. It must be so confusing for the animals, uh, you know, and for the trees really, because Customary over there in the distance. I'll just zoom in through there. We might get more images of it as the day goes on. I'm doing a similar walk. It's a mixture of walks I'm doing today actually. I'm trying to fit in a walk. Um, which normally has lots of cows. Now because it is so mild it's, that's over by um, Piney Sites Farm, which is later in the walk. <sighs> because it's been mild, I'm just half expecting the cows to still be out over there. <sighs> it's a walk I only do when it's cow free. <sighs> because um, they've had some really massive herds there. <sighs> it's very close to the North Gorge Walk. Very close. So what I, what I do when I get over there first, I keep close to the edge so that I can get out. If I do spot the herd, I can... Uh, there are some small styles I can get over to get onto the gorge walk if necessary. So a very quiet new year. I've had quite a few quiet New Year's actually over the last 15 years. <coughs> yeah, very quiet indeed. Anyway, I've brought a hot flask for a hot drink. And I've got a cold bottle of water. I've got an orange. I've got a packet of crisps and a couple of bars of chocolate. I haven't brought cheese today. Didn't feel like bringing cheese and tomato. I don't think I'm going to eat it really. Um, I could have brought, put one of those uh, little round cheeses that have got like a skin on them, but I forgot. Oh, I know what I put in instead. I put one of those Dairy Lee lunch things. You get uh, five sort of... Um, tubes, crispy tubes, and you get a little dip. 
And I've got that in my bag. Yeah, so I did bring something as an alternative. So, folks, Happy New Year to you all. It's only three, three weeks and a couple of days to my 70th birthday. It's my platinum year, like the Queen. Our Jubilee year. Her father died when, just after I was born. I was born the end of January. He died the beginning of February. Although she wasn't crowned for a year, she actually was really the queen on his death, once his death had occurred. So she celebrates 70 years from that day. Not from the coronation, but from the moment she became queen, which was 1952. <sighs> I'm not expecting any massive thing to happen to me. Uh, but uh, it is uh, another landmark adventure to start the next decade. Um, a bit scary really. The next decade, the last three decades have gone so fast. They really, really have. Since 1990, they, those three decades just went by in a flash. Because oh, it is, it's true. Everything's speeding up, but feels slow. There's cheddar down there. Right then, so that's my little introduction. I'm not going down there. I went down there and, and have come back that way over the last couple months. Down to Bradley Cross, down there, the hamlet of Bradley Cross. Where I did manage to come back without cows. There were a few in the top field. Today I thought they might still be there, so what I'm doing, because I want to fit another field in further over by Longwood, I've decided to cut that section out, just go straight across the reserve, and head in towards what I call the, the Alapacas, up there near Black Rock. This is a, a hilly part. There are hills in this walk. When I cross over the Cheddar Road, I have to climb up a steep hill towards the Alapacas. And uh, then I go. And, uh, because there shouldn't be cows, I, instead of going into the wood, the little hobbit wood like I've done recently, I want to skirt along the top and come out near Velvet Bottom on the top part rather than going up the Black Rock Valley near the quarry. Uh, going up that lovely little crooked lane, skirting Longwood. Longwood in theory is supposed to be closed for the winter because of the cutting back of the ash dieback and general maintenance. But I'll see when I get there. I, I probably won't walk around it. Um, just a steady plod today, everyone. Over and out.